Hey everyone, I'm Alicia from A Music Vlog, yeah, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Public Access TV. Hello everybody. Hey, how's it going? Good. I saw the photograph of you guys coming in through the U.S. border. You almost didn't make it through, so what kind of happened there? Take it away. Um, they pulled us over because our van is covered in graffiti, as yes. you can see. And they let their drug dog run wild all over our personal belongings. Uh, this was on the American side of the border before we had even come through. Yeah, we had. Yeah, I, I'm actually a little bit too angry to continue, so I'm gonna pass. We could right. still turn around. You know, we weren't even on the we Canadian turn. soil yeah. yet. <laughs> Not at all. But we did get searched on the Canadian side as well. It's just look at our van. Would you pull us over if you were a policeman? Probably. A policewoman. A policewoman. I mean, you see. I, What's your favorite thing that you've written on the van? We you haven't, haven't written, written any of it. None, any of it. None of, none of it's no, you. None of it's but our, our least favorite thing is there's a... There's a penis I see on yes, the side? The, yeah. the, there's a, a <laughs> diagram of the male anatomy and then a caption which says, helpfully, penis and balls. And the person who did that was the lighting guy for the last band we were out with, Gang of Four. And uh, the lighting guy thought it was really funny. I guess he hated us. But wherever you are, lighting guy. Was he the guy. lighting guy? Yeah, he was the lighting guy. Or he was, I don't know. He was the lighting guy. He, he hated, was their lighting guy. He hated this guy right here. Yeah, he, really he and I hated each other from day one. Why do you think that was? Because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I just want to say welcome to Toronto. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Our Thank pleasure. You. <laughs> so you had just released your debut EP, Five Track EP. So just tell us a little bit about the creation of this. Well, it's kind of a batch of songs that were all recorded at different times and um, go down and record five or six songs or so and then maybe have a couple weeks off and go do another batch and then kind of made a little best of, of a few months of recording, you know? Yeah. We made it in Nashville and... You could really hear the Nashville sound on the record. Mm-hmm. With Jeremy Ferguson of Battle Tapes Studios. <laughs> um, do, what else do you want to know about the EP? Well, I was, when I first listened to it, I really figured, at first I was like, oh, okay, it's a rock record. And then you listen more, and there are some amazing new wave and uh, punk nuances that I could definitely grab from it. So were you listening to any bands from that era while creating it, or creating your music? We were listening to a lot of Bob Dylan. Okay. From a lot of Bob. A lot of Bob. I feel like there's a little bit of R&B in it. Yeah. Kind of the R&B side of Bob. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> 80s Dylan. Yeah. All right. And I know, of course, you guys are from New York City. So do you feel that the city at all has an influence on your sound or your music as a band? Um, life there is tough. It's rough. So it comes out in the songs. We've all lived there for quite some time now, too. So that naturally kind of finds its way into your tunes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a little bit of downtown in it. <laughs> Do you know what that means? I don't know what that means. No. Do you know what it means? No, I How about Max? Just, just nod and go, yeah, just totally. That, just that nightlife. <laughs> Ooh. I read a quote from you where you're pretty much saying how you felt like New York City scene has been a bit dire. So do you feel that that's starting to change at all? No. No? Well, how do you think you could fill that void? We're, we're trying to do you're that. You're trying to do that? <laughs> yeah, um... Good question. Thank you. <laughs> well, are there any bands in New York that you would suggest our readers listen to? Dirty Fences. Um, great, great band from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn Manhattan. Um, what other bands do we like? Uh, That's about it. <laughs> the, the one band is your suggestion. Dirty Fences and Dylan. <laughs> um, Max? I like Endless Boogie. Yeah, they're cool. But they've been around. They've been around for a while, though, so they're not technically a new band, I guess. A new band, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that you, of course, are in Toronto tonight touring with Palma Violets. How's this North American tour been going? I know you're three shows in. How's, how's North America treating you? It's great. Uh, it's really, really fun because we're with our brothers, Palma Violets. We love them. Uh, it's been fun. We had one weird night, though. Like what happens? <laughs> we're, we're, you know we're going to ask. You can't mention a weird night. It was really, really, really weird. Um, you ever see that show, House of Cards? Yes. It was like an episode of House of Cards. We ended up at this guy who worked for the Democratic Party. We ended up at his like penthouse apartment. And uh, I don't know how we got there. But it, it was just, they were just really, um, there was a sex worker whose name will remain. Unknown. Unknown. And, uh, she was a very friendly, right? 
She was not very friendly. Uh, there was a lot of drugs, which we did not do. Oh, it was just gross. It was gross. It was one of the grossest nights I've ever had on tour. But like bar nine. It was gross. Yeah. Okay. I gross felt and weird. We all had to shower after. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you first arrive to a new city, what are some things that you guys like to do? Are you sightseers? Do you look for certain foods at restaurants? If time allows. I'm not much of a gourmand, but uh, I like to check out the, uh, <laughs> the museums. I went to a great bookstore down the street. I uh, always like to find some, um, I'm not going to say that. Okay. <laughs> always like to find what? A couple of us are sightseers, Zan included. And yeah, I spent all of South By at the Lyndon Baines Johns, Johnson Library. Yeah. But, you know, most of the time we have to stick around the venue because yeah. we don't have too much time, unfortunately. Yeah. But we do what we can in the neighborhood, usually. Usually. I saw last night you played Detroit, and on your Instagram you actually posted a photograph of Detroit Rock City, which is one of my favorite movies. Is Great that, film. Is that why you guys posted it? You're actually a fan of the film? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Favorite moment from it by any chance? Ooh. Ooh. Their band practice in the beginning. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the car scene uh, with the disco people. When he said, oh, with the dogs? I like when oh, uh, the mushroom pizza. I like when he says, you saw me and my dick throw up when he's in the <laughs> car with Shannon Tweed because he comes early. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've seen. I have seen the film. All right. Do you have a favorite moment? I haven't seen that movie. Oh. Really? Oh. We're, we're big uh, Edward Furlong fans. And do you guys watch anything while on the road? Because I mean, going from place to place is quite a trek. Uh, we, we don't watch we'll any movies or anything. Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, <laughs> we definitely have a flat screen in that van for sure. <laughs> no, we. Uh, we'll turn the TV on at the end of the day after. Our day's work. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Everything I just want to say a massive thanks to you guys for your time too. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And I just wanted to end th something here with a quote from you guys. I just want to tell everyone at home to make sure that you follow them on their Instagram at Public Access TV for all the latest band news, drama, comedy, action, adventure, thrills, and romance. Right. Yes. Yep. And you heard that on Ambi. And to everyone at home, be sure to visit us at www.amusicvlogia.com for exclusive interviews with your favorite bands. Bye.